Welcome back, Exiles. Now, I might be looking a little worse for wear tonight, but my love of tanks is definitely never worse for wear. I think the one class is that someone who's going to be playing Path of Exile 2 who loves tanks will love. Well, Templar. And we haven't seen anything about the Templar yet except this next little snippet of footage that came out in the original or the original announcement trailer from ExileCon last year. So I am clearly very angrily excited about the fact that we're going to get Templar in Path of Exile 2. And maybe this time he'll also get pants. So that being said, I thought I'd put together some stuff on basically some assumptions on what we can expect from the Templar class. And then beyond that, I may have used ChatGPT and in combination with Midjourney to try and come up with some theories on what seven skills, which would be really cool, might look like. So strap yourself in and enjoy. Uh, let's jump into the video. Okay, so from what we can gather so far from the information that we do have about the Templar and Path of Exile 2, it's most likely going to be a strength and intelligence based class. This was some footage taken at ExileCon number two last year, where they sort of showed the, uh, the different class types. And I'm reasonably certain based on the type of gear that pops up uh, in their showcase. Now, outside of this, we don't really have any other information. Uh, so we're gonna have to come up with some fan theories here to sort of surmise what we might be expecting, hopefully by the end of the year, around information to come out on the Templar class. All right, so I sort of mucked around with ChatGPT and came up with some potential skill names, some that might already be in the game, and tried to generate some concept sort of AI art on what that might look like in an isometric view for the most of it. So let's talk about that. Okay, so the first skill that I sort of came up with is conventionally in a lot of ARPG games like Diablo 2 and whatnot, and it's just holy light. Now, potentially, this could be an ability where you cast like an orbital, you channel like an orbital strike beam of holy light that comes out of the heavens and lights all enemies within its vicinity on fire. But take a look at the AI art. It could look really cool. It'd be really awesome. And, you know, having a wide, big AOE, like orbital strike bombardment skill on the, uh, the Templar would be absolutely mental. The next skill I sort of came up with in theory could be something that's similar to Fury currently in this standard Path of Exile 1 game. But instead calling it Divine Fury, which, you know, we're just in that Templar sort of them themology right now. But this could create a new form of Fury generation uh, just for the Templar, where instead of physical damage and speed is scaled from the Fury that you generate, the player is engulfed in flames and the flames become wilder and wilder over time. And, has, and this then in effect increases overall fire damage per stack of Divine Fury. I just think that's really cool and it would go in line with the concept of the Templar being a strength and intelligence based sort of character that stacks fire and there would be tons of opportunity to synergize that sort of buff or temporary buff and you could even have like a um, Templar's Berserk or Templar's Rage or something like that where basically the Templar could then go into a Berserk mode and unleash all hell with fire but I think that'd be a really cool concept for some more melee focused Templar builds. Okay, so the next one is Righteous Shield that I came up with. Now, this could be a sort of shield bash sort of skill that increases in damage if there are stacks of ignite on the enemy or if the enemy is burning, but the skill itself would not be able to proc ignite or burning damage. Sort of similar to Tempest Shield, but not quite. Uh, and so I sort of thought this might be cool because then you could proc and ignite or burn the enemy and then you could essentially use this as a bigger sort of hit sort of damage ability which would go into the whole skill chaining sort of thing in path of exile 2 but i thought it'd be a really good use of you know putting in a shield skill um because i really think that that's the direction the templar should be focused on is more so sort of inverting the expectation of having uh having a flail and a shield but turning that into the shield being the damage dealer and the flail supporting the shield like in a conventional build where the shield would 
support the uh, the sword or the axe, for example. Back our old Righteous Fire. Uh, it was good for a very long time. It got nerfed in Path of Exile 1. Give us back our old Righteous Fire. Also, just off the back of the Righteous Shield, you could actually use this skill to synergize with Righteous Shield, as I theorized. Uh, and so you could actually burn the enemy with Righteous Fire and use that to proc a bigger hit with Righteous Shield, which would be a really cool interaction and a different way to play a Righteous Fire build and actually have it buff up melee, for example, as opposed to just being a spell buffer. But just a suggestion, GGG, if anyone from over there watches this video. Skill perspective could be something called Radiant Blast. This could be a war cry that knocks enemies back and has a chance to apply Ignite to the enemy. Potentially the downside of this skill could be that it costs a small portion of health, which wouldn't be too bad for a character like a Templar, which would most likely have a very high level of base regeneration anyway. But I thought this would be a really cool concept of a skill and I generated some AI images or concepts that, you know, could be really cool. Also, this could be treated like a Fusro Da sort of skill from Skyrim. But uh, yeah, just something that I'd throw on the table and say it could be really cool if we had something like that in Path of Exile 2. Okay, so the next one would be Cast on Block, obviously. That'd be just an absolutely mental spell skill to have on a Templar considering high tank ability you could run builds that do absolutely wild things if you had a skill like that. I don't know if it's in the uh, in the credo to the way that Path of Exile 2 is sort of being made as far as tanks go, but I think it'd be really cool. So I'm going to put it on this list of things I'd like to see. Other bloody ARPG on the market. Path of Exile 2, let's see it on our Templar builds. Uh, specific Blessed Hammer build. I would love to play real Blessed Hammers in Path of Exile. I think they could do a really good job of it. And I've generated probably more art for Blessed Hammer than anything else because I really want to play it and not the version of the skill that exists in Path of Exile 1 right now. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the video. We don't really have any information on Templar yet, and I'll just reiterate everything I've features featured here in this video is just theory crafting at this stage. I just really want to see an announcement for the Templar. It would be really nice if it made its way into the beta. It probably won't, and it's probably gonna be one of the classes that are gonna come out when the full game comes out or later in the beta process, but I really wouldn't mind it if it came out in the beta. Anyway, if you like this type of content, don't forget to like and sub to the channel, don't forget to follow the Twitch, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one and stay safe.